Hey there. I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of How to Paint Like a Feminist. If you're a Democrat and this is your first time joining us, I'd like to invite you to take a break from burning down your cities and beating up old people and pull up a chair and give it a watch. Soon the air is going to be filled with lots of screaming at the sky again. Before we get started on this masterpiece, I'd like to take a moment and give a shout out to the sponsors of this episode. That's right, we got sponsored. Money, money, cash, y'all. So right now we're on the brink of total chaos if Biden gets elected. Or the press wants you to think such. Well, with a 52% tax hike, I'd be pretty scared as well. And that's why there's Acre Gold. Invest in gold today, that way a 52% tax hike can't ruin your credibility or your wallet. It's just as simple as subscribing and you don't even have to pay all at once. You can pay as you go. Kind of like that Obamacare thing that, that didn't turn out so well. Thanks again, Biden. So make sure you check out the vanity link down below. Give it a click. That gets me paid big bucks, y'all. I'm gonna invest in gold as well, and so should you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. My handy dandy producer's gonna run those colors across the bottom of the screen. We've got fake ballot blue. We've got Hunter Biden brown. And last but most certainly not least, we have the re-emerging and reappearing and most sought after and beloved, orange. For even after all this time, orange you glad that Hillary still isn't president. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started with this Hunter Biden brown. Just get a nice old mix in there. From Russians, Ukrainians, all those same types that wanted to meet with his dad that he set up that meeting for, yet Russian collusion for the last four years, but it was right in our own backyard. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started here, make a, a nice soft little landscape. Nice, just gentle strokes. Just gotta stroke it nice and slow. Just nice, slow, broad strokes. Just like that. Now, of course, you don't want to stroke it too fast because well, that just ends really quickly and, you know, your, your girlfriend's left disappointed. Even if you tell her that that's never happened to you before, she doesn't believe you because she's been with lots of men. The only reason you're with her is because you have validation issues and the fact that she's willing to touch your penis is just something you haven't had in a long time. So now we've got our brown foundation. Of course, that kind of reminds me of, like, the Democratic Party. You got a solid brown foundation of minorities and all these rich white liberals right on top of them, using them for everything they can. Man, it's almost like they're still on that mental plantation. But it's the Republicans that are racist. Moving on. All right, so next we're gonna do some upward strokes, nice and simplistic. Just some buildings, that's all they're gonna be. Nice, happy little buildings. Well, happy for now because here in a little bit, we're gonna have some uh, some unemployed Democrats come through and more than likely burn these suckers to the ground. Cause you know, that's, that's what we wanna do for black businesses out there. Nothing says support black small businesses like burning them to the ground. That just makes all the sense in the world to me. That's right. We support minorities by taking away their livelihood. Mm-hmm. That makes perfect sense if you're smoking crack. So now we're just gonna go ahead and fill in these brown buildings. You don't wanna leave them all white and empty. You got all that, that whiteness in there. Speaking of white, you got Mitch McConnell, just secured another position as majority speaker. You got Mitch out there you know, sniffing coke and Biden's out there sniffing kids. It's almost like it was just kinda meant to be. Just a whole lot of sniffing going on. Just sniff away those troubles. Sniff away yourself right into a jail cell. We have all these buildings here, but nobody's in them because of the whole COVID lockdown. Because, you know, we have to protect everybody, but uh, destroy their livelihoods at the same time. Kind of like the whole, uh, we have to shut down mom and pop businesses because apparently that would spread COVID more. So instead we leave major corporations like Amazon and Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, they can stay open because funneling everybody into bigger stores is a whole lot safer and less likely to get COVID than letting them go to mom and pop shops where they'll kind of disperse more evenly. And in fact, lessen the chances of actually getting COVID. What do I know? I'm not a virologist. I don't even know if that's a word. I just know I don't have COVID. I think. Who knows anymore? The tests aren't even accurate. Moving on. Right now we're gonna go ahead and pop open our missing ballot blue and 
squirt that blueness all over there. Oh, it's a lot of blue. There we go. To mix this blue up. And speaking of blue up, how'd that city of Chaz work out? All those overweight, blue-haired, hairy lesbians pooping in trash cans and singing kumbaya. That didn't work out so well for you. And people started bringing guns in and forming gangs and... Well, it pretty much sounds like every Democrat city out there. Weird. So we're just gonna go ahead and do some broad strokes to create a nice blue skyline. Just nice and blue there. Oh, we're just gonna flood this canvas with blue. All kinds of blue numbers going everywhere and spiking in the middle of the night, just for no reason at all. And just fake ballot blue spiking all over the place. Because of course, you know, they say that this election was the most secure election. It was impossible for voter fraud or voter tampering, but for the last four years, they've been saying Russians were colluding with Trump and yada, yada, yada. I just wish they'd make up their mind. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Man, that swamp runs so deep that even Ted Kennedy could crash into the car and that with a hooker in the trunk and they still wouldn't find it. That's a deep swamp. Oh, you pesky Democrats. Hookers and penises and not knowing what the hell you are. And by the way, there's still only two genders. I felt a disturbance in the force, as if millions of overweight, blue-haired lesbians all screamed out at once, wishing for my death. Oh well. And lastly, but most certainly not least, we're gonna be pushing out our orange and glad Hillary's still not your president. Folks, no matter how bad it can get in the future, even if Joe Biden wins, just remember, Hillary is still not the president. And that makes children across the world really happy. Looking at you, Epstein Island. We're gonna make nice broad strokes coming up. That's right. Flames coming out of those minority-owned businesses from white liberals burning them. Just because of Trump. Hate a man so much that you burn down the very same people that your party oppressed for generations and now claims to want to thrive. But you're out there burning it all down because black lives and black businesses clearly matter. Unless you just don't get your way. For the last four years, you're out there wanting to rename city streets and tear down Confederate statues because of racism and the South and the Confederate flag, yet you turn around and you elect a man whose 1994 bill helped put more minorities in prison than crack cocaine itself did. And then turn around and also support a VP that has done the exact same thing by keeping lots of black men in prison and utilizing for cheap manual labor. Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. So now we have our handy dandy little masterpiece finished. Again, minority owned and controlled town, burned down by white liberals. This is the Democratic Party. Let's pick ourselves up a little bit of higher tax rates from Democrats. <laughs> Here we go. And there you have it, the true sign of tyranny. It was never about a mask. And now you're being conditioned to think that promoting liberty and freedom is being selfish. When it comes to my life and well-being versus your life, show me where in the Constitution it says that I have to give a damn, because I don't. This is socialism. This is liberty. I'm not responsible for you, and you're not responsible for me. Open America, and let's go back to work. And if you're scared, stay home. Welcome to freedom.